Start it up. Start of a new week, which means obviously the start of a new episode. Everyone's out of Cotman's Thought. My dad's back with us this week, so stand by and see what we've got in store for you. I will also apologise for last week. Um, obviously, as you've probably seen from the last video if you watched it, um, I had to have my little pooch put down last week. Um, so it was a pretty bad week for me last week. But yeah, apologise on the content for me last week. The lads have done well, got enough content to get sent out to you. So thanks to the lads for that. But different this week, we're back on it this week um, and we'll get a lot more for you. So here we go. So good morning everybody, it is Monday morning. As you'll probably tell, I am out at Cotmanthorpe and we've got Stepan back today. My dad's here as well, so he's here with us this week, which is good for Max. It gives Mark a good hand this week and I can go over to the other job where Liam is and we can start boshing some skim on. We have finally, finally got the work tops. Now they came last thing Friday, so finally actually turned up after a a lot of to and fro with the delivery company but they've finally turned up so happy days we can get them put on um don't know if you can see from there but these are just a bare edge sort of ply um with sort of a, a nice thick white laminate over the top um so it'll be a lot of work in these just a bit of sealing and stuff like that as well but the lads are on it today so we'll show you those few bits from that today but the plan is work tops on today get all them cut out um, and then see where we go from there so that's monday for the lads out here and let's get to the job That one nipping bug, that one. <laughs> Afternoon. So we're just out here at Common Thorpe around the corner and with obviously Liam Will's behind the camera. As you can probably see Will, show everybody, we've plastered the ceiling and we're now on with this wall as it's the biggest wall. So <laughs> literally it's good timing because it's about just after four o'clock uh, and we are pretty much there or thereabouts, nearly done with that. Not far off are we? So got on quite well today so I'm happy with that. We've just got finish off this wall, probably one more quick float over yeah. and then we're done. Um, and on to tomorrow, we'll start getting the rest of the walls done. We may, probably not, no, probably won't be tomorrow will it, we'll probably be Wednesday by the time we get all these done. So another good day tomorrow, should see most of it out and then we'll finish off on Wednesday. Yeah buddy. So, because there's a lot missing about with that media wall. Um, but yeah, that's Monday. We're going to kill it. That's us done, have a good tidy up. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye. Toodle pip. So morning everybody. It is Tuesday morning. I've just come to see the boys around at Cotman Thorpe. And <laughs> this There's is no <laughs> what you've done is you've come to wind us up, is what you've done. There's no I've just come to see the boys. He's he's come to wind us up. Is what he's done. <laughs> so the case is now we're doing the waterfall bit, and because we didn't have the plunge saw yesterday, we're having to do it today. Um, so Lee's nicely come to take his video <laughs> and uh, just just get his big wooden spoon out and give it a bit of that because then he'll be off. You know what I mean? That's nice of him, isn't it? So we've done the old flick of the coin on who's doing the cuts, and uh, I lost. I won. Yeah, <laughs> unlucky for me. So if I balls it up. That's my fault. 
and this is the only bits we've got. <laughs> so no pressure, no pressure at all. Um, yeah, let's hope I can get it right first time, mate. But anyway. I'll support you, mate. Yeah, 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 you support oh, me. Uh, yeah, it's that song, innit? <laughs> Lean on me. <laughs> yeah, right, on that note, we're going to make a mess. Love you, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it is Tuesday morning, as you well know. I have just seen the lads on the corner, obviously, and uh, just give them a quick hand, get them sorted out with that, with a plunge sword to cut that horrible waterfall worktop. Uh, and I'm now out here with the boys at Comic Corp again. Just getting the rest of the skin on the wall, so. Will's giving us an hand, mainly we're just banging the plaster on the walls, so get this room ready as soon as we can. So that's the plan today, get as much as we can on the walls. Yeah, buddy. Pretty much all there is to say for today. <laughs> Is it today? Wednesday, innit? <laughs> Always forget. <laughs> uh, so, morning, everybody. As you can see, I am out at Cottonthorpe just doing my morning visit with my dad and Mark. Um, you'll see behind me, my dad is on with just putting this uh, little canopy roof on um, with his noisy impact driver. Um, so we've just put a little canopy roof over this area here, um, which is going to get um, some marine ply put on the top and then GRP as well. So it's just a little seating area for them. Um, so, well, I guess that if they need to, they can sit under cover there. So my dad's on with that. Mark's inside just do, doing the tiling above the cooker area. Um, and the work tops were actually finished yesterday as well. Now, the lads have done a class job of those, especially where the waterfall area is. So they've done a brilliant job of that yesterday. I will show you all that in a moment, but that's us for Wednesday. That's the plan. My dad's going to get on with that. Max going to do the tiling. So, what you can actually see with this is that front double trimmer there is level. And at the back, it's actually worked out quite nicely with these air vents. So, at the back, from this point, it falls away to the corner here. And from this point, it falls away to the corner here. Now, the reason being, as you can see, we've put a hopper in there. And the downpipe's going to come down and into the drain down here. Now, reason being is, obviously, we've taken the gutter off, uh, put that stop end back on, uh, and we're going to put a flat trim, 300 mil trim, on top of the spars up there, um, and then GRP up the roof, which means the tires can just sit over. So any sort of water running off this part of the roof will drop down and onto the roof and into the hopper here as well. So that's the reason we've done it like that and it means that the, the uh, downpipe can be nice and neat and tucked away in the corner rather than being stuck in the middle of a wall anywhere. So that is the reason we have done that. Worktops are in. <laughs> a little cheer there from Mark. Um, the little waterfall part of the worktop is also in. Now I'll just quickly show you that. The lads have done that and it is absolutely bob on. So. Well done to Mark and my dad on that, because that is Bob on. Looks absolutely awesome. Yeah, I really enjoyed that one. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't around yesterday, because there'd probably been some effing and jeffing. There'd be some effing and jeffing for us, you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, rather than that, Mark's just on me now, tiling that, as I mentioned. There we go. So those tiles are going vertical. Another challenge for you there, Mark. <laughs> So, work tops there, sink all done, routed out. Yeah, that was a, a good one, that, that Belfast sink jig, so otherwise, well, I've been spending a lot longer doing. <laughs> so that was a nice one. Shelves are in, little microwave area, <coughs> see air fryer as well and other bits. So there is literally... Couple of shelves to put up there. Maybe seal up the edges of worktops again. 
Max on with that tiling. And then eventually we can get back on with the floor. Yay! Looking forward to that as well. <laughs> Um, Tony's here, Sparky. Now I've got a little issue with the outside lights. I'll show you for a window. There he is, look, there's your man. Um, little issue with the outside lights. Again, show you the, the things that we come up against as well as the good bits. So there is no permanent feed to this light. Now we had a Sparky here previously um, that was working with Tony, he's no longer with us, but he's not put a permanent feed into the light, so we're struggling with that at the moment. So Tony's just gonna get a permanent feed to that. Hopefully with as minimal damage as possible. Um, and we'll uh, we'll rectify it. Solutions, not problems, is what we like to say. Isn't that right, Mark? Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. A, uh. yeah. Yeah. I, I think we should just build new houses because you literally just got like that, don't you? And that's it. <laughs> and nobody cares because it's just it's a new house, and then you just get like about an inch of mastic and go around everything to seal it so that no air escapes. You know, and nobody's actually bothered. Um, but I am, so obviously we like to make a nice job of like these new boots that I've seen recently that are absolutely, and I'll be honest with you, shocking. Well, there we go, there we go. One of them. No one can't get over, is it? We couldn't do that though, even in the new builds. We're all, no, no, we're all no, too pernickety. No, 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 I can't do that. Look, <laughs> look, look, what's that about? Yeah. Well, well, it's going to be one of them days, then, isn't it? It's going to be one of them days. Oh, I'll go with it. So Let's go one more time. Oh. Hey! <laughs> How you doing, man? Morning everybody, it is Thursday morning, as you can see, uh, <laughs> the usual catchphrase, <laughs> um, I'm out here with Mark and my dad, my dad just outside uh, preparing that GIP roof and as you can probably tell, Mark is grouting up the tiles that his feet yesterday. Um, we're not getting too far off now Mark are we? No, uh, hopefully by... This afternoon I'm going to start with the floor again. Um, I'm just going to get a few bits done outside. A uh, bit of brickwork just to cut down where the GRP roof is. Give that a quick one coat of masonry on the wall. And then yeah, then I'll be back in here starting with the flooring. My intentions are to... so we can start doing a GRP, get all the banding done and then lay the GRP itself. Um, so good day today, the lads are absolutely smashing it again, so another good day today. Max has put yesterday as well, I will add, they've put the shelves up as well, now they look great and they're actually really strong, so it's a good job of that. Um, other than that, just a little bit, probably just a bit more um, sealer on the edges of these uh, worktops. Other than that, just bits of touching up then to do, so this next week and a half, we should be there or thereabouts. That's our theory. <laughs> That's the theory. Oh, this video comes to you sponsored by MKM York. Now, MKM York 
uh, one of the biggest merchants around at the moment and they're supplying us with all our gear. If you need any building, they're now doing bathroom suites, they're now doing kitchens, they do a wide variety of them. And it is available to the general public as well. Now a lot of tradespeople use it, but if you are part of the general public, we've got also got something exciting coming as well. We are gonna get you a discount code so that if you are wanting any of those building materials or you want anything for your bathrooms, kitchens, anything like that, we will get you a discount code and you can then go use that at York and get discount on those things that you, that you desire. So look out for that coming out as well. Get that arranged and get that sorted and get it dropped in the videos. So what are you doing there, Dad? Fiberglass in, get some ready. <laughs> Fiberglass in. <laughs> So these little strips here my dad's cutting, um, obviously the uh, bandaging strips for upstairs. For upstairs? I don't know if it's quite upstairs, but for up on the roof. Upstairs, <laughs> <laughs> upstairs yeah. Upstairs. We're going to put, some, put a set of uh, wrought iron uh, stairs, up there. stairs up there. yeah. Um, so yeah, just cutting the bandage straps, just obviously to do all the joints and things like that and all the trims on the edges. Um, so first thing you do when you're GRPing is do all that and then run over with full matting. Um, and do the full roof itself. Let's hope it doesn't rain. Yeah, let's hope it doesn't rain. It's not supposed to, but it already has last night. So, weatherman, you were wrong again. Wrong again. <laughs> um, but we have actually as well next week. Uh, thanks to MKM and the guys there, we've also got um, a GRP course that all the lads are going to be jumping on because uh, they use a new system now that um, I believe is just a one coat rather than, um, than doing two or three co uh, coats. So, we're going to go have a look at that on Thursday. So we'll get some filming there for you as well next week on that. So thanks to the lads at MKM. Appreciate that for sorting us all out. Um, so yeah, that's my dad's plan for today. Every only good good spark is clean up after themselves. Every other one. No, right. Sorry, off the camera. First time Tony's ever cleaned off up, the camera. I think. So, um, Steve being on with the GRP, um, I was just put the gel or top coat on on uh, the edges and the trims, and he's going to finish it off uh, tomorrow, just because we literally ran out of time. Um, that wall's been, the bricks have been trimmed off on that edge wall. Um, literally just a corner of paint, just what the customer wanted. So that's what's been done today. Other than that, still looks like a bomb's hit it. But tomorrow, hopefully we'll get it cleaned up, ready for the weekend again. So just have to watch your space. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Say bye, Steve. Say bye, bye. Steve. Bye-bye. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. Last day of the week. I think the lads are getting ready for the weekend, but as you can see, Steve, my dad's just up there, finishing off the GRP roof. Um, last coat, top coat to go on, and then a bit of touching up, um, and then just to do the flashing along the back wall there. Once that's done, put the roof back together, obviously the tile dropped down, put the ridge tile back on, um, and then that will be complete. So, not much left to do there, should be pretty much done today, so double thumber upper. Mark's just inside on with the floor, so we'll go see Mark. So, just inside with Mark. You might see him just popping his head through there, just figuring out this bit around the architraves. Um, so you will see that he's got a lot of this floor down yesterday. Um, so he's just done with that now. Um, what else have we been on with yesterday? The tiling is now finished. 
The wall outside is now chopped back, made neat and also painted. So that looks a lot neater. I will show you that in a second actually. That's a good point, there's no one outside. Um, and then all the floor around here, which I will also show you. So, might work his magic down those doorways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or something like that, he says. Yeah. Beautiful. Just the plinth to go on around this side. The plinth heater to go in. Floating shelves are up. And the kettle tap is on. So you've got filtered chilled water. And then if I work this out, there you go. Instant boiling water as well. Beautiful. Yeah, so this is that wall that Max sorted out. Obviously just trimmed this line of bricks back and painted that up, making it a lot fresher. There we have it. Where are the worries? Morning guys. Just uh, sorted scraper out, been a bit lazy and got lucky. So yeah, just this off, just gonna go around all skimmed up in here now, reveals are done. This is looking lovely. Um, so I'm just going to go around now. Me and Will are going to sort all bits of plaster out on the bottoms. Going to get some arky and some skitting on. So yeah, it's going to be a good one. You did the brickwork yesterday, didn't you? Sorting brickwork yeah, out. Yeah, just popping up my cup. Yeah, you've done that. Uh, it's Friday today as well, so it's going to be a sunny, it's not a treat. It cost me a fortune, wouldn't it? It's alright though. Uh, what's that? So, yeah, skirting's arc is in here. And then obviously, once falls down, this room's ready, we're going to go upstairs and do. That'll be next week, but we'll be doing the bedroom above. Uh, skimming all that. I think Sando's come back to do plumbing, didn't he? Which we could have done ourselves, but I think Sando's. Well, maybe Mark. No, I think Sando's. Oh, it's actually Sando, Sando this time. Sando, okay, yeah. ah, he's back on the side. So, yeah, should be a good one today. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get back to you once we've uh, started doing some cuts and stuff and get it all dry. Yeah, we'll see you shortly. See you soon. Ten past three, something like that. Sure. Yeah, all skirting and hackies are on. As you look round, all skirting, flip round on the last side, so it's hackies. Uh, took a little bit longer because we had to chisel out one of our plastic walls. Don't know who plastic walls are like, you know what I mean? But uh, we've had to, uh, well, to chisel out round hackies because we're not four or five go proud, so obviously multi tooled all. Around the arches, arches are flush back now. Skirtings are on. Will's done the second coat on these walls. Obviously, he's got our walls behind it to do. Um, obviously, no chop saw today because the chop saw packed in, so I had to do all miters and everything with a rip saw. So, as you can tell, they're not that bad, are they? So, they've been done with a rip saw. So, yeah, all miters and scabs are done. Will, I'm gonna go over to help Lee quickly. So Will's gonna finish this wall, do the coat, and then he's gonna have a right good tidy party. Uh, and then we'll be ready to come back on Monday and kill it. If you know what I mean. So yeah, we'll see you soon. Take it easy.